When you're considering entering the crypto markets, I want to discuss an indicator that offers levels of support that traders use to buy or establish a new position. Now, Fibonacci retracements are based on the Fibonacci ratio. And at mathematics, this is known as the golden ratio. It's seen in biology and also in architecture. What you do with Fibonacci retracements is you pair a recent trough and a peak. And you divide this distance by the key Fibonacci ratios of 23.6, 38.2%, 50%, 61.8%, and 100%. And these give you key levels of support. Now, I'm going to show you how to draw these Fibonacci ratios. And let's go over some charts to outline that right now. Now, the first Fibonacci retracement chart we're going to look at is a chart of Bitcoin versus the US dollar. It's a daily chart, and the exchange is Coinbase. Now, this is a chart of when Bitcoin reached its peak of 20,000 in December of 2017. And I want to just show you how well these Fibonacci retracements held. The first level of 38.2%, this pullback, held as kind of a short-term support on the drop. And then at 50%, there was actually stronger support, which resulted in a almost 40% rally after that Fibonacci retracement level held. However, if you look at this chart of Bitcoin, you'll notice another pattern that's going on here. You've got your classic head and shoulders pattern. And then once this neckline was violated right here, there was more sell-off that occurred. So this chart of Bitcoin retraced all the way, almost all the way, to its 100% level. And then on the way up, these Fibonacci retracements, which once were support, are now resistance. So this level here, which held as support at 61.8%, at about 10,800, then became an area of resistance. So you'll note that not only do these Fibonacci retracement levels work on the downside, but also on the upside as well, they serve as kind of a resistance point. 